are lots of great Web 2.0 tools out there that would allow your students to do some amazing projects using technology. But the problem with these Web 2.0 tools is that in order to use the tool, and you must create an account, which requires that your students have an email account. Avoki is one such tool, and you can see Avoki is a personalized speaking avatar, and I have one embedded on this page. Um, you could do a lot of cool things with Vokis and your students, but in order to use the Vokey website, your students must have an email account to register. Most students, especially elementary age students, don't have their own email account. So how can they use these cool tools like Vokey if they don't have an email account? Well, you could sign up for a Vokey account yourself using your own email address and then monitor your students while they use your account to create their Vokeys. Or another option you have is, sign, is um, giving your students email accounts using a service like Gaggle. But the option that I'm going to show you how to, you to do today is using a service like 10 Minute Mail, which creates a temporary email address. Uh, the account functions for exactly 10 minutes, and then after 10 minutes, the email address expires and is no longer usable. 10 minutes enables, gives you enough time that you can go to Vokey and set up an account um, with using that email address, um, but then after 10 minutes, they would no longer, your students would no longer have ac access to the actual email account. So let's take a look at 10-Minute uh, Mail. So I'm going to go to 10-Minute Mail, and the address for 10-Minute Mail is 10minutemail.com. And you can see that as soon as we go there, it generates a temporary email address for us. And here it is right here. And it tells us that this email address will expire in 10 minutes. So you need to use it within 10 minutes before it expires. Uh, if you need a little bit more time, you can click this link and it will give you an additional 10 minutes. So you would have a total of 20 minutes to use the email address. So the first thing we're going to do is copy the email address to our clipboard. So you can either click this link or you can right click the address and click copy. We're going to go then to Vokey and Vokey is V-O-K-I dot com and we're going to click register. Once the registration form comes up, we're going to click in the email box and paste in the email address that we just had generated for us. We're going to go ahead and paste that in the confirm box. Now you can fill in your name, but what might be, if you're going to be creating multiple student accounts, then I might um, call this one student uh, one or student A or student B um, so that you can kind of keep the kids separate. You won't want to check this box because you won't have the email account longer than 10 minutes, so getting a monthly newsletter would uh, not be something that you'd be interested in. And then go ahead and give the account a password. Again, make this something that would be easy for your students to remember. And then you will need to put in your birth date. Uh, Vokey will not collect personal information from children under 13. Um, and that is due to the Children's Information Privacy Act, Online Privacy Act. Um, so children under 13 shouldn't provide personal information to the site. And you can see here that we've used your birth date and we have not included a student name. So we're not really exchanging any kind of personal information here. So we're going to go ahead and accept the terms and then we're going to click sign up. Before you do that, you want to be sure that you write down this email account this email address because that is what the students will use when they sign into the account. They have to have this email address. So be sure you have that written down and then go ahead and click sign up. It will process the form and you'll get a message saying that you need to check your email for a confirmation, confirmation message and click on the activation link in that to complete the registration process. So we'll go ahead and close that. We'll go back to our 10 minute mail Notice here we have eight minutes left of our ten minutes. We'll scroll down and we'll check our inbox. Here's your inbox. Right now we don't have anything showing. So you may have to go up and click the refresh button, which is next to the address bar. And you may have to click that more than once in order to get that message to show up. Okay, so after you've clicked refresh a couple of times, you should then see your message in your inbox. You'll need to click the subject line in order to load that message. And remember, we're looking for an activation link. And here is our activation link. We're going to click the second one, or you can also copy and paste the link into your browser. So we'll 
click that to activate our Voki account and it will take us to Voki and say that our account has been activated. And then we would be ready to go ahead and log in. Remember you have to use the email account, the email address of the account that you just set up and then go ahead and um, type in your password and click log in. And then you're, you're ready to create your Voki. So that is how easy it is to set up a temporary email account to gain access to Web 2.0 sites like Voki.